All right, here we are with the continuation of the Fierce Battle Bots uh, game. Um, this time we'll be tackling Rhino Man. Yeah, my place in a score positive six there. Yeah, very extremely good ratio. So yeah. So yeah, I did look over my footage of the previous stage there, and I believe I had. Oh, I couldn't see myself picking up any more than three E tanks there. So yeah. And yeah, for defeating the Crush or Nightman there. Let's see what he's called in game here. Shane Man, he's called. Yeah, we get the Shane Ball, so yeah. And once we have done this stage, we get to pick up Rush Coin, which I'm very much looking forward to. So yeah, let's just get our goodies here. Very nice. Okay, I really like the visuals here, like the blood red forest. <laughs> Looks really cool, I have to say. Blood red forest. Uh, that's a name. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Yeah, this here is actually quite neat as well. We get to use these here. Which, I suck at using them. <laughs> I really do, I am very bad uh, at this. Um, I believe we can do this. Let's see here. Well, that still works, but yeah, it was still quite sloppy of me. Dang it. I'm gonna do that again. Nice, okay, that did it. <laughs> and yeah, um, you can actually. Yeah, you don't have to be afraid. I assume most of you already know this, but yeah, yeah you can actually stand on top of those, and you know, you don't have to be. Uh, you don't have to be afraid to come into contact with them, basically. But yeah, this stage here will have some tanky enemies with the rabbits here, and yeah, some quite neat little puzzles here and there with the, um, yeah, with whatever those things are called, you know, the ball shooters. A very organic level, you might say. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I remember this. Well, of course, <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't so bad. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and another E tank. Another one. Oh, yeah, actually, I remember how to get it. You actually just need to. Um, yeah, you, you get it from the screen above. So, yeah, um, while this guy here can hurt you, like, he's still pretty easy to deal with. Uh, nothing too bad. There will be some mini bosses later on in the game that are placed uh, in situations where you can actually stand in safe zones without worrying about getting hurt from them. Which I'll bring those up and perhaps how you could like try and solve it also. But yeah, this guy down here definitely can hurt you. Let's see here. Let's try and try kill him quickly. Very nice. Yeah, like this here, I, I really like this tile choice here. Like the little <laughs> wooden pole here with these whatever plate platings, whatever, whatever this is. You know, the golden golden plating looks really cool. Melts together awesomely. And yeah, we will have uh, yeah. Those plant enemies, they will reappear in the violet stages later on, and yeah, it will get really, really freaking hard down too. <laughs> yeah, I believe we can just uh, cheat here. <laughs> if we just time our jump very well here. Let's see here if that is indeed the case. Yeah, you actually don't need to do that when you can just jump over. But yeah, it's almost... Uh, harder to jump over so <laughs> you might as well just shoot the guy and you know get the balls bouncing instead okay very nice yeah I like this one here though this setup like you have to be quick uh, or else you might end up take a lot of damage there let's see here five freaking e tanks very nice and you know, that's another thing I have to give you credit to, uh, Heavy Elite, like, 
you definitely gave us plenty of E-Tanks here throughout the game, like, so that the player can tackle, you know, the later stages, because, yeah, that, that was definitely a good call, because it definitely gets very hard later on, and yeah, it's definitely not beginner-friendly. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. Like, the bosses will be up to ace difficulty, I would almost say. Maybe not quite that hard, but, you know, still very damn hard. Dang it, I should have saved my oh, flash topper for him. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But yeah, here we're just going to use this here. Okay, that was very bad of me. Shoot, climb, and rinse and repeat. There we go, very nice. Oh yeah, you see what I mean? I really like, I really like this whip, <laughs> whip and button here. And yeah, here we're just going to do this here. Actually, <laughs> yeah, we get the Asichi here anyway. There might be a rule that I have missed, you know, with one ups. Uh, I'm not keeping track of my one ups right now. Um, well, 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 well. <laughs> Go. And yeah, this here platforms too. Looks pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. Whoa, okay. My bad. But yeah, I believe, like, this stage is quite breezy, quite easy to deal with, like, not very many instant death scenarios, uh, so it's a little bit of a nice break, you know, from the previous stages where we had a lot of pits, uh, this series is a little bit more about taking damage and perhaps dying that way, but yeah, I really like this stage here, and yes, you said over the forums, uh, your stage wall, man, like, one of the upcoming stages, you said that was one of your favorites, um, I agree, that is definitely one of your cooler stages here, in this package, um, it had a lot of uh, fun usage there with the Yoku blocks and some nice visuals also to boot. But yeah, very nice here, you know, a change of scenery, getting out in the desolate, I guess. <laughs> in the desolate, I don't know. I, I don't know English very well. <laughs> All right. Whoa! That's right, that guy! <laughs> he shoots like a freaking missile! There we go. Yeah, this here is a little bit of a weird transition here, like dark sky, red sky here, yeah. Looks a little bit odd. Whoops, you know, I jumped there a second time. Oh, well, it's fine. I really might not have picked that one up. Um, should I go for it? Huh. No! Whoa! Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to have Rush Coil already. Maybe that's why that's up there or something. Although... No, wait! The Ring Boomerang! That's how I'm supposed to get it. Yeah, okay. Wait, hold on a second. There you go, that's how you're supposed to get it. Okay, okay. Very nice. Dang it, <laughs> I really wanted that. <laughs> yeah, and see here, once again, you know, you can get that with the ring boom right there. Ooh, yes, and this here, like. Okay, that's not the way, <laughs> that's not the way to go there. Um. Nice. Alright. Yeah, this guy right here, like, pretty, pretty, yeah, I don't know. Like, if you just place a hot dog, you know, on a straight line like this, like, he's never going to use, do anything, you know, hurtful. Like, you need to check this over. Like, there will be a few enemies like that throughout the stages, but... 
yeah. I guess it's not a big thing, but it looks a little bit sad when he's just standing like that. <laughs> Yeah, overall, a pretty cool stage here. Some nice atmospheres. Oh my god. I mean, I, <laughs> we have concrete here. I believe he's called Rhino Man here in this game. But yeah, very nice. He went down like a show. <laughs> overall, a pretty nice stage. Uh, I like the gimmicks, even though, like... There were pretty similar setups, you know, throughout the stage. They still were fun to deal with, and enemies, and yeah, uh, enemies were fun to interact with. So pretty good overall, pretty good. So let's jump into the next one here. All right, the next stage will be Snowman, the fifth one. And by now we will have Rush Coil unlocked. Let me just check on that so, I, so that I am 100% sure. Uh, as soon as you have beaten four bosses, you get access to Rush Coil, yeah. Okay, and for beating Rhino Man, we get the, let's see here, the Pile Driver. Yeah, I have a list up here on the internet so that I can see which items and such I'm about to get. Um, I, I actually find it a lot of fun, you know, follow the list here and yeah, the little checkoff list. And yeah, once we beat Snowman, we get the snow weapon down there, I remember that. <laughs> so yeah, now we have the Rhino Horn there. Yeah, the Rush Coil and the Crusher, so yeah, now we're stocked up here. And hold on a second, guys. How many E-Tanks did I have? God damn it. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to have to make a cut and I'm going to go check the footage. Uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Alright, so I'll just cut back here. Okay, I... I went and checked, and apparently I had 5 e tanks when I ended the, the last stage there, so yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to have to try and keep count better, you know. I need to keep up a system or something. <laughs> yeah. Keep up a system, I just need to not F up the counting. How about that? Uh... Alright, so anyway. As for the snowman stage here. As you may expect, um... If I remember correctly, and yeah, whatever, uh, we will have some ice blocks coming up here, which is uh, one of my favorite um, gimmick items that I added in this here patch. And yeah, I'm talking about these here. I really like this. Yeah, we have some nice introduction here with them. And yeah, I suck at doing this. I need to <laughs> get used to them, I guess. Yeah, here we are just going to. This, this, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, very nice transition there, you know, we're starting outside and we end up in here in the ice facility, I guess. Damn it. <laughs> Let me up. Wow, okay, let's just... Do that. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think... Whoa. <laughs> I don't think there usually were anything hidden in these blocks here. Because I want to remember I pretty much checked them all when I played uh, on my first playthrough there. Um, so yeah, maybe I won't be checking all the ice blocks around here for treasure. Yeah, here we have a, yet another E-Tank, which I will gladly get, and that will be our sixth one. Yeah, if I do start coming up on the nine, you know, item cap, I might start to... Um, yeah, another healing seat, another Eden ceiling here. Um, but yeah, if I come up on the cap, you know, of nine, I might... Uh, dang it! <laughs> I might just start using them. Yeah, I'm sorry about my poor English, like, I just trip all over my words as per usual, and I bring it up in almost every video. Ugh. And yeah, like, very nice transition once again, like, we entered some kind of ice tower, and yeah, now we're coming out here on top of the mountains, and yeah, we have some broken walls here in the background, you know, it's a very nice, yeah, very nice... Very nice visual progression here. Oh. 
yeah, here's hoping I start dodging those snowmen a little bit better. Oh yeah, I recall this here. Like, let's just do this here. It's very easy to die down here. Yeah, that M tank, hold on to it for dear life. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you will want to hold on to it for the rest of the game. You might, yeah, you're probably going to need it. Like, I dare anyone to do this game buster only in the wildest stages. Maybe if Ace is watching this, maybe maybe he could do it, but yeah. <laughs> I sure as hell. Yeah, I'm not going to be up for that. That's just insane. And yeah, you probably don't want to kill those if uh, you mess up here, but yeah, I'm confident I won't. Oh yeah, I like this here. <laughs> Snow rain. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, and here, this is also a quite quite a nice little entrance down here into the freezer. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I even checked those some of these boxes in here, like when I fell down there. I believe I, I believe you can. Yeah, I, you yeah you can't get these, but I'm pretty sure I checked this one here on the altar in case there is something hidden in there. Not that you could have reached it anyway, but you know, just out of curiosity, I guess. Hmm? Wow. Yeah, once again, like, enemies a little bit close to the... to where the fair starts out there. But, yeah. To be fair, he was going to the left there, and I just ran into him, but... Yeah. <laughs> Still. Usually when I build stages, I like to give, you know, the player space and not put down enemies, you know, or gimmick items, you know, straight to where they enter, or straight at where they enter. Uh. Whoa. Oh yeah, like this stage here too, nothing too bad. Uh, like, nothing too hard. Uh, but, yeah, it looks very nice, very cool. Uh, very nicely craft stage like visually. I definitely like the background changes and yeah how it progresses through throughout the whole thing. Yeah, let's see if we can do this without dying here. Like usually if you just stand in one spot, typically Okay, let me just focus here. Dang it, you need to jump that. <laughs> Let's see if we can dodge it this time. Dang it! I jumped jump too late. Oh! Oh well! But yeah, very nice. We got the ice stage in there too. And yeah, now then, we will be continuing on with Toy Man in the next one. So yeah, I'll just cut back there with Toy Man in a sec. Alright, so here we are with Toy Man. Yeah, this stage, uh, I, I quite like this one too. This has the Mega Man 11 um, Bounce Man music going. Let's pick it up then. Yeah, I, I love this music. <laughs> it's so goofy sounding, but yeah. Goofy sounding, yet cute. <laughs> um. Those two, and yeah, when we beat Toy Man here, we get the die missiles there. The toy missiles, I believe they are called. <laughs> okay, did I get everything? Yeah. Let's see, six. And the M tank. I had seven, I believe. Damn it, I forgot again. <laughs> Damn. I'm pretty sure I had so many tanks. Dude, I, I am so bad at keeping count of those. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing, actually. Hmm. Oh, well, it's not that big a deal, I don't think. Like, I will have nine, like, sooner or later, anyway. 
I will not be using them here in the regular stages. So I'm confident that I'll hit 90 tanks either way. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, like, enemies are very well chosen for this stage too, I think. Like, ooh, yeah, we want that. Oh, actually, I can't get that. I'm pretty sure I need Rush yet for that, which I don't have yet. Wait, was I supposed to pick up Rush yet for this one? But this is the fifth stage, isn't it? No, this here is the sixth stage. Wait, let me see here. After you have beaten six bosses, yeah, after you have beaten six bosses, so I'm not supposed to have it yet, because I am at the sixth stage. Alright, alright. So, yeah. Maybe you can get it still somehow. It doesn't look like it. Maybe I am supposed to bring Rush yet, here, and, you know, there just was a mislisting or something, you know, over on the forums. By heavy elite there. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. There are still plenty of E tanks uh, through the rest of the stages, so even though I don't get that one, uh, I'm still definitely not worried about it. Not worried in the least. Oh, yeah, these guys are really freaking curveballs. Yeah, very toy-like enemies, I guess you could say, for this stage here. Yeah, I like doing that for these jumps here. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, you know, doing it without the flash stopper there. Dang it, and yeah, sometimes that happens, so you have to reset. Gosh darn it! <laughs> Stop doing that! What the? Okay, yeah, that. I don't think that happened in my first. Oh my god, I don't think that happened on my first uh, time through the stage. Like, it somehow got desynced. All right, we're back here again. Let us just. Well, I don't even know why I used that there now. Used it up there again. But yeah, let's see if this bugs out yet again up here. The push block, push block here. Push block, push box, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you're actually supposed to use the flash stopper here. In that case, there is nothing wrong with this. Then it's just, you know, a matter of, you know, the player has to execute properly. So maybe, you know, if that is indeed the case, then you might just, you know, you, know, you may just disregard what I said there earlier. Oh yes, I, I remember now. Here you have to move on very fast. Actually, yeah, that actually makes sense that you will have to use the flash stopper out there because it's definitely required in here, I think. I don't think you can make it over there without it, but yeah, let's see. Whoa! Actually, yeah, you can probably make it over there without the flash stopper. Let me try again. Whoa! Okay, yeah, 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 very nice. Oh. Very cool. Hmm. What the? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening here? Yeah, I'm just going to give up on that. Just sit you there. It's not worth it. Hmm. I believe... Yeah! That weapon kills them. And yeah, I missed a box again. I just have to bolt on over there. It would have been nice if it was a little bit closer you know, to the player, because it's very easy to miss it, but yeah, whatever. You can just reset the room, so 
Not a big deal. Although you have to use the rush coil to reset it. Um, would probably have been better if you did not have to use a weapon or, you know, weapon energy in order to reset. Although I guess you could also use the reset checkpoint, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. actually get another M tank in here. Huh. Well, I don't really need it, but you could just... Well, I guess I might as well get it. Let's just see here. If we just do this, and now we can just go ahead and use this one and pick this one up since M tank does not stack, you know, has to, so... But yeah, I actually forgot about that. I thought we only, you know, we only got one throughout the entire game here. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, pretty nice little lift segment here. Nothing too hard. Just gotta. Whoa. <laughs> Just gotta <laughs> know what you're doing, I was about to say, as I almost suicided there. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Nice there. Very nice. And here we have Grenade Man. Now we need to check. Yeah, seven E tanks and one M tank. I couldn't get that one there in the beginning. The E tank that is. But yeah, Grenade Man, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool boss, but yeah, I have tons of practice against him now, so I, I'm pretty no knowledgeable uh, about how to deal with him. But yeah, he's a fun boss. A fun boss! No. Okay, so that's Toy Man. Um, yeah, so that will be it for that episode. In the next one, we'll be the, doing the two last one. Um, Volcano Man, Wall Man, and I guess we'll be doing Dr. Wily Stage 1 in that stage as well. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day. <laughs>